You know, half of me kind of wants to go to McDonald's today, but the other half of me kind of wants to go to Burger King. <laughs> calling for 101 degrees here in Springfield, Illinois today. I have failed miserably at chasing 70 degrees. I'm gonna run the generator all day, air conditioning, while driving. Generator is gonna be running non-stop. I'll show you. It doesn't hurt anything, it doesn't harm anything. The, ge the generator is gonna be pulling its own fuel from a separate fuel pump than the engine. And I've done this plenty of times in the past up in the northwest even sometimes when it's too warm. So for the entire day, every time I'm driving, every time I'm stopping, every time I get out of the vehicle, the generator and air conditioning is gonna be running up here as well as while I'm driving, I'll have cab AC going. We are going to keep this RV comfortable for the day as we enter the land of Lincoln. Okay, depending on who you talk to or which story you might believe, right here in Springfield, Illinois is the birthplace of what we term now the corn dog. Yeah, right here on Route 66, the Cozy Drive-In. I already took a peek in there and ran back to get my camera because I didn't know if it was allowed. You want to hear this place go silent? Ask for a corn dog. They don't like that. It's not called a corn dog. It's a cozy dog. Yeah. To state the obvious, food. Well, here's the inside of the restaurant. They just look so cozy. Yeah. There we go. Let's try it out. All right, everybody. I'm a believer. This is the home of the hot dog on a stick with the breading. Although somebody did steal it from them and then renamed it Corn Dog, but this is this is the original place. This is the first time they ever served a hot dog on a stick. So that is classic Route 66 history for you there. Jax, man, how you doing? You you don't like corn dogs, dude. You you, you don't like them. Check it out, the South Town Theater. Nicely, not restored, but nicely kept. Along with also stopping at like thrift stores, garage sales and stuff like that on my travels. If I find an old record store, a lot of times you can find some really classic tapes, although a lot of them only do the new remanufactured, mastered, you know, newer version of them. But sometimes you can find collectible tapes. And here's a funky one. This is Dumb Records here in Springfield, Illinois. And they have a ginormous green elephant. We saw pink elephants the other day, but this one might have a headache. He's missing like the complete top of his head, poor guy. So I'll hop in here real quick, see if I can find anything that I have to have. Lots and lots of records. This colorful section over here. Look at all these tapes. Oh. This could take me a while, be patient. What a cool store. I could spend a lot more time in there and I could buy a lot more tapes, but I'm not gonna buy everything I everything I want. Just just the absolute ones that I haven't been able to find. Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band, Heart, Bad Animals. Steve Miller, Greatest Hits, and Don McLean's Greatest Hits. Well, let's keep moving though. Yeah, so here I am in downtown Springfield, Illinois. A lot of business happening down here and I see something interesting across the street. So yeah, they have a museum here, but what's even more interesting is this totem pole. There's no plaque or information, at least outside the museum, telling me what I'm looking at, but there's a familiar figure at the very top of this totem pole. At least familiar to me, I don't know, I recognize that hat. Let me get back a little bit. It appears to be Abraham Lincoln on a totem pole. Okay, we are in the land of Lincoln. I did have to pay the meter, but I just put a nickel in there for five minutes. Let's check on Jax. How the heck is the air conditioning in here? Oh, it's cool in here. What a happy boy. Thanks, Dad, thanks. Actually, I put another quarter in the meter. Since I'm already downtown and I found a spot to park, 
maybe I'll just walk around the general area and see what I can see down here before we get out of Springfield. And I didn't even have to walk very far. Right across the street, kitty corner of the Capitol, something over there is shiny. Let's go check it out. Random. Whatever it does. It's art. Oh yeah! It's not a John Deere, but it's definitely a steel deer. Okay, well they have a Illinois Firefighters Memorial here at the state capitol. Some really detailed work here. Wow. It's bath time. It's bath time. So we're gonna check out this campground or RV park that's right off the highway, Route 66. It was on my Allstays app. It doesn't list an actual price. I don't know, some kind of 4-H club with camping. The way Allstays does it is they have a legend where they use dollar signs. Anywhere from $1 sign to $4 signs. That's how they tell you how much each campground costs. So this one has $2 signs. I don't know what that means. Uh, could be $15, could be $40. I feel like plugging into power, so I'll go check it out and I'll let you know what I find. So we've been getting this rain pretty much every night for a week straight. It usually happens at night. In the daytime, upper 90s. At night, it just rains and thunders every single night. It's really strange to me. Today it's starting early. 97 degrees outside and raining. So, and it's, yeah, really strange. Really strange. It's not a dry heat out there. It is a disgusting, sweaty, sticky, now rainy heat. And yeah, I still got the air conditioner going on full blast high and the air conditioning here in the cab. It's barely keeping up. This is our exit here. We're going to be staying in Pontiac, Illinois. And I'm probably going to stop by get a burger over there at Wendy's. I haven't seen a Wendy's in a while, so look at my Baconator. Actually, I see a Burger King up here. I think I'd rather have classic chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh! outside and that heat just knocks you out. That is disgusting. Ugh. Oh my gosh. was walk 20 yards and I'm just sticky, sweaty. Ugh. Ugh. Oh yeah, two for five. Wanna go outside? Ooh, let's go outside, check it out. Oh, sprites. You gonna check it out for me? Make sure everything's good for dad? Okay. This is actually a really, really nice campground. Or maybe it's an RV park, I don't, I don't know. We're not really parked on concrete, so I guess it is a campground. And there's there's trees, so that's nice. Got air conditioning, water, dump station on the way out. 20 bucks a night, so it gives us a nice place to cool off this afternoon and probably run the air conditioning all night, actually, on low. Just pamper myself and Jackson. And... Uh-oh, he found some birds. I don't usually uh, pin uh, paid campgrounds. Or share them with you guys but I will on this one because there aren't any free campgrounds on Route 66 in Illinois off the highway so 20 bucks is really really reasonable for full hookups I think it's 24 for 50 amp and 20 for 30 but still pretty good what do you think of those birds what get them go get them buddy Get him. Okay. Are you happy, boy? Okay. That's your outside time. 
Dad's sweltering with sweat. Let's go inside, okay? Okay, let's go inside. Come on. So, I mean, it, it's a cute, cozy little campground, but it looks like they've only got about 12 slots, so might fill up on the weekends. Not sure. <clears throat> you can hear every single RV has got their air conditioning going. <laughs> now, since it's a 4-H campground, they've got stables for different kinds of horses and pigs and sheep or goat, whatever you got. I think that's kind of cool. You can see the power outlets in the side of the building here that some of these RVs are using as well. So it's kind of unique, kind of cool. And the dump station on the way out is uh, over there. But there's just not much in Pontiac, except the city that I, there, there, there's a Walmart and obviously a Burger King and other stuff there. Uh, otherwise, this is just a chance to, I'm actually gonna take a cold shower again. Yep, that's what I've been doing the last few days. There's no need to fire up the water heater, just take a, it's not even a cold shower. The water's like 70 or 80 degrees in the tank behind the seats. It's actually quite comfortable and refreshing. And sad to say, I'm gonna spend the next part of the rest of the night inside the RV with air conditioning. You guys understand though. So while everything's cooking here, I gotta let the uh, rice simmer for 25 minutes. Let me just show you, this is one of my favorite meals here. It's really easy in the RV. I just get the uh, yellow rice package here, cook that up. I get some of this grilled chicken. It's already pre-cooked, but I like to bake it. And I cook the whole bag so that I can just uh, nuke it up later when I make like a second meal. This will actually, this what I'm making right here is three meals. So I eat one tonight and then I put the uh, leftovers in the refrigerator and then I nuke them up with the rice. Or I can cut this up and put it in another soup to beefen that up. Or put it on a pizza or cook it with an omelet for breakfast, you know, dice them up or something like that. So I use a chicken for a lot of different stuff, but might as well just cook it all now in the oven and just do it once so that all I'm gonna use the microwave or the grill it, grill it here. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy meal. I guess the chicken's pretty cooked, but we still wanna bring it to the appropriate temperature. So that's why I will use my thermometer here. It's poultry, so we'll just put this dial at 165 and then I'll put this in the chicken just to make sure that it is uh, brought up to temperature. Check the temperature here real quick, see how we're doing. A little bit longer. The rice is supposed to be done in two minutes here. Yeah, it's thickening right up. Cool. That looks good. Man, that chicken smells good. That's killing my taste buds. Here's my two containers with lids. I'll put two patties, two chicken patties in here in each one and some rice and we'll put those in the fridge after they cool down. See, that really wasn't very difficult at all. I got my grilled chicken, really healthy. I got my rice, I don't know how healthy that is. Uh, strawberries, and I still got some of this leftover fudge from Uranus, so that's about 4,000 calories right there. I'll, I'll dig into that a little bit. Jax, this isn't your food, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you have to, you have to be a good boy and not share daddy's dinner. I am still watching Risk Takers. I, cannot, I keep finding more and more of these episodes on YouTube and I absolutely love this show. I think they did a fantastic job. It's a really neat, exciting show. So I'm gonna watch a little bit of that tonight with the air conditioning. Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. We are, we're about 100 miles from Chicago, which would be the end point of Route 66, or the start point, but the end point for us, well, you really want that chicken, but you ain't getting it. Maybe later, maybe if there's any leftovers, you can have some chicken. So, not much left to Route 66, but life continues, and I'm really excited about the future after Chicago. So, Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. Hey, stop being bad. You're usually a good boy. Lay down and wait. <laughs> All right, guys, see you in a couple days. Um, that doesn't mean sneak under my armpits. Putts, putts with the butts. Really? You like strawberries? You're such a goof! <laughs> Goober. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks guys!